Hello traders, hope you're doing well. Now, if you remember in yesterday analysis video while speaking about Nifty, I said that if Nifty opens somewhere here or here, maximum Nifty can go up to this level. Later, we can see a bearish setup here where we can plan for a put option trade. That time, this trend line level can be our target. But where did Nifty open today? It already opened near the target level. We had discussed yesterday. This is a supporting area in the market. Today, Nifty already reached the target level and it was showing some bullishness. When market was somewhere here, somewhere around 950, I discussed about important resistance and support level for Nifty and important resistance and support level for Bank Nifty. This details were shared in the private telegram group. The next update was shared somewhere around 10 o'clock, 5 minutes. In this particular video, while speaking about Nifty, I said that there is a high chance that Nifty can face resistance 22,050 to 70. So we can plan for a put. And I also mentioned that for Nifty to reach up to this level, the chances is very low. Instead of moving up to here, Nifty can face rejection from this area itself. During the first half, this area can be our first target and this area can be our second target. While speaking about Bank Nifty, our view was only if market goes above 47,000 level, we'll be looking for a call option trading setup. Since our view about Nifty is bearish, if Nifty falls as per our view, then Bank Nifty also can follow. This was the view which we had about the market. Now, if you open Nifty chart, of course, Nifty respected the resistance level. The problem is it just stayed within a range for longer duration. Only after 120, we could see a decent momentum towards the downside. But as per our expectation during the first half itself, if Nifty had gone below 22,000, maybe this area, at least it could have achieved. Even Bank Nifty, if you see during the first half, it was just trading within 200 points range. So since our focus was in Nifty, the trading setup was executed somewhere here, held on to the trade, but profit was not that great as per expectation. So today's market was a bit boring. Let us see how we can plan our day for tomorrow. Traders, tomorrow is Bank Nifty monthly expiry. On monthly expiry days, we can expect some kind of quick momentum in the market. And also, people would prefer to offload their position and take fresh position for the upcoming expiry. Now, if you see on the call option side, 46,700 and 46,800 has highest number of open interest. Now on the put option side, 46,500 is acting as an important support and next 46,600 level. Of course, 46,700 also is playing an important role. Now, if you open Bank Nifty chart and switch to 30 minutes time frame, here you can see Bank Nifty previously, this trend line was acting as a good resistance level. Once market broke this trend line, opened with a gap up, it has formed an upper range and lower range and it is just consolidating within this area. Now for tomorrow's Bank Nifty expiry, I am expecting market to form quick spikes towards the upside or downside. But at what level we can see action in the market. Now on this 5 minutes time frame chart, I have drawn a trend line. This trend line is acting as a good resistance level. Tomorrow, if market opens below 46,600 and 46,550 and it is just consolidating within this range, it is better that we patiently wait for a proper setup. One attempt that we can do is from swing high to swing low, we will draw the Fibonacci level. If market is consolidating within this range, gives a breakout, a retest 0.236 level of Fibonacci, which is 46,635. After this, if it breaks, start showing some bullishness with small stop loss i will consider a call option trade 46700 will be the first target 46750 will be the second target and 46800 will be the final target you can see there is a small gap here the market after filling this gap it can start moving towards the downside to reduce the premiums of call option if random people are taking entry at this breakout or at these breakout, maybe it can start reversing and hunt their stop loss. So about 236 level breakout, retest again if it breaks this level, I am expecting a momentum towards the upside. The ultimate target will be 46,800. In case Bank Nifty already opens near 0 0.5 level near 46,700, 750 area, then after filling this gap, market has to hold on to this range 46,800. Only then if it gives a breakout, I'm considering a call. 
or else I will expect a reversal if market directly breaks this area. Second situation, if market opens within this range, consolidates, it is better that we avoid any kind of trade today's low and 236 level of Fibonacci. But what if market opens somewhere here and gives a breakdown? Here we have an important supporting area which is 46,500. Immediately at this breakdown, many people will think about entering a put option. But there is a high chance market can slowly start moving towards the upside, respect this resistance again, later it can show some bearishness. Either at this area or mar when market breaks the day's low, that is when I'll be considering a put option. We had discussed, right? Many people are considering 46,500 as important support. After this retracement, again, if market breaks this level, sellers are strong, maybe they can push the market towards the downside to fill this gap and they can take the market to at least 46,350 level. During this time, we can just trail a stop loss or exit with 70% of the position. Again, after retest, there is a chance that market can continue the downward move. Now, why I'm saying as long as market goes about 236 level, we should not consider a call option is because let's say market opens somewhere here. You can see this is a high, low, lower high. Next, a lower low near 46,500. After this, market can consolidate. After consolidation, it might give a breakdown. Usually, the market will try to do this to remove any random people who entered put option from in the market. After removing the weak players, the trend can continue. So to summarize, market has to go about 236 level, retest, gives a breakout. These levels will be our target. Within this range, no trade. In case market breaks 46,500 level, a retest. Again, it is showing bearishness. That I'm planning for a put option trade is a good idea further update will be shared in the free telegram channel tomorrow morning you can scan this qr code to join the group the link is also provided in the description box below traders this is a chart of nifty 30 minutes time frame i'm choosing this chart to mark an important resistance level this level acted as the first resistance second resistance and recent time again market has respected this trend line so this is a very crucial level in the market next let me switch to five minutes time frame now on a five minutes time frame if i draw a trend line like this this became the first support second support this is our third support now today nifty formed a upper level and it formed a and it formed a lower level tomorrow if market opens somewhere here or here i'm not confident to enter any kind of trade but let's say market comes to this upper range it has tested this level many times if it consolidates gives a breakout only then i think planning for a call option trade would be a good idea where this trend line will be our first target in case market since it's already tested this resistance level three times after consolidation again if it breaks this level this area 22,160 can be our ultimate target towards the upside same way the support level has been tested many times by the market many people are expecting to enter a put option when nifty goes below 22,000, but market is somehow trying to hold on to its range if many times a support level is tested maybe what i expect is again market can move towards the upside later point it can break this level in the future since this level is tested many times if it breaks 21980 level that is when i'll be confident to enter a put because during this reversal again some random people will enter by position to trap the market can move towards the downside again at the support people will think about entering a call option again market can retrace a bit and then continue the momentum towards the downside this level can be our first target this level can be our second target towards the downside as long as market is just holding on to this range it is better that we avoid any kind of trade let market go below a psychological level which is 22,000, and still if it is showing any bearishness without quick recovery then planning for a put option trade is better because many people are expecting market to fall and go below 22,000. anyone who enters their stop loss is getting hit maybe tomorrow since the level is tested many times when people consider this level as support and enter later it can start moving towards the downside in nifty i'm not having that much of a confidence to plan a trade but maybe tomorrow after the market opens we will get more clarity based on the support and resistance level we identify for the day
Any further update will be shared in the Telegram group. At this point of time, this is my view about the market. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.